Hi, this is Bill from Molten Voltage, and I'm here today to show you how to set up the Eventide H9 harmonizer to work with an external MIDI controller. Setting up the H9 is straightforward. There's just a couple of factory settings that you have to change so it'll respond to commands from an external controller. To do so, you have to go into the Globals menu. To get there, you hold down the Tap button, and then you hold down the Center button at the same time. Now here we're at the top level menu, so we rotate the knob until we get to the word MIDI. To go into a folder, you press the button. To get out of a folder and go back up a level, you use this preset button up here. So we're going to go down into the MIDI folder. The first thing you see is a receive channel. That's the channel that will make it switch programs. So we go into that menu, and you see from the factory it's set to Omni, meaning it'll respond to a program change on any channel. A lot of times you don't want that because you'll have other devices on other channels, and you don't necessarily want them all to switch the same way. So we're going to switch that over to 15, because that's the channel that Molten Voltage stuff is set to at the factory. Now to go up a menu, use this Presets button. Now we're going to go over to Output, then go into that menu by pressing the button. And from the factory, it's set to Transmit, meaning the H9 will send MIDI information out that it generates. But to have it controlled by an external controller, you're going to want to set that to Through, because what will happen is all this information that comes off your MIDI controller and gets to the H9 will be repeated back out, so you can daisy chain another device and have it respond to MIDI commands as well. So that's set to through. Let's go up a menu. Now the last thing we want to set is clock in. Turning on clock in will allow the H9 to respond to an external MIDI clock. That way it can synchronize with all the other effects on your pedal board that can sync to MIDI clock. And there's a whole lot of them out there at this point. In fact, if you want to see the whole list, just go over to MoltenVoltage.com and click on the Master Controller. So now we've got all our parameters set. We'll back up out of these menus. And then to exit, you do the same thing. You hold down the Tap button and hold down that Center button. And now we're on Program 21 here. You'll see that as soon as I press that, MIDI clock started being sent, and the H9 synced up to the clock. Now, of course, if you want a new tempo, you just tap on in. And that's really all there is to it. We have a lot more videos like this on the way, so if you're interested in this sort of thing, please click the subscribe button. And if you ever have questions, just head over to MoltenVoltage.com. We're happy to help you out. Thanks a lot.